When it comes to animals, they are incredibly gifted. They sometimes amaze humans by the situations that they can get themselves out of. Such as when they're trapped by a predator and sometimes are able to escape despite all the odds being stacked against them. <laughs> However, as you likely know, there are times when even animals need a hand. Hey. Animal rescues are a common part of our world, but sometimes the rescues that occur are so extraordinary that they bear talking about for multiple reasons. That includes these situations that sometimes should not have happened. Here now are 20 unbelievable animal rescues. Number 20. Dog versus Glue Now I'll be honest with you right off the bat, this first story is not one that I'm happy to tell because it shows a terrible form of animal cruelty by humans, specifically cruelty by children. Covered in glue and left for dead, this saved his life, and it's not what you think. You see, this took place in 2017, where someone had found a dog named Pascal after he had been covered in glue by some children and literally left to die. And before you think, well, that can't be that bad, it really was. How do you think the dog got the glue off of itself? It didn't. Because of its inability to rid itself of this burden, the glue then hardened up and basically became cement and weighed the dog down with a second skin. While animal bodies are known to carry a certain weight, this is not what their bodies were meant to handle. It was so bad that parts of the dog's body weren't getting the proper blood flow and that could have killed the dog outright. Thankfully though, Pascal would be taken to an animal rescue shelter where they saved the dog's life by shaving it. They cut off all of his hair that was mixed with the glue so that he could be free and probably a lot more cold until the hair grew back. Staff would claim that after he was shaved to the point of being red and raw, Pascal could move once more but spent a day standing in shock. As you might expect, Pascal was a bit distrustful of humans due to what had happened to him, but the staff were patient and then earned the dog's trust. He would spend a while in the shelter until he was eventually adopted by a family. While that's a happy ending, a pox on the house of those children who thought that it would be funny to pour glue all over a dog and leave it be. That's not only cruelty, but it's inhumane and inhuman. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Diving After the Chimp one of the reasons that certain animal rescues are so surprising is that at times, the animals you see in these rescues are in situations you wouldn't expect to witness them in at all. The next story is from 2020 and is a perfect example of that. Rick Swope had planned for a great family day with his wife and three children at the Detroit Zoo. The Swope family went to the new chimpanzee exhibit. It had been a favorite for his children, so they had hung out to watch the fascinating chimps for about 30 minutes. As they were about to leave, Rick heard a splash in the chimpanzee exhibit. One of the chimps from the exhibit named Jojo had fallen into the moat that surrounded his zoo home, and the chimp couldn't swim and was thus drowning. Here's where things do get interesting, because around that exhibit were not only spectators like Rick and his family, but also zoo officials. And when when Jojo began to drown, no one went to help him. Not at first, at least. The belief is that because chimpanzees are known to be aggressive in certain circumstances, it would have been a health risk to try and save the chimp. But thankfully, Rick Swope didn't care about his own health. He jumped the fence and then went in to save Jojo. And if you're curious, chimps are actually much more inclined to drown than humans. That's because humans have body fat that helps us stay buoyant, and that's something that chimps simply don't have and thus are susceptible to drowning. Another problem that Rick had faced was that the chimp was 135 pounds and was being weighed down by the water. However, he was able to get the chimp to the shore, and after turning it around to check on Jojo, he could see the chimp was indeed alive. Some had called him reckless for his actions, but I think he was rather selfless, and his family was certainly very proud. Number 18. This feels familiar. 
Do you remember the film The NeverEnding Story? Do you remember the very tragic scene where a certain horse was trapped in the mud and nothing that the main character could do would get it out? It was a very emotional scene that still resonates with people today. Now, the good news is that this next rescue is not going to end the same way that that one did. The bad news is that this is something that does occur in the world, and it's not an easy thing to fix. This would take place in Canada, where a rescue organization found a horse stuck in the mud and it was unable to get out. Another problem was that it was impossible to know how long the horse had been stuck there, and because of that, the horse could have been extremely weak and thus unable to help them in their pursuit of freeing it from the muck. They would take ropes, winches, and even a few four-wheelers to lift the precious creature back into the wild, and as you can see, it was no small horse. So getting it out of the spot that it couldn't find firm ground on was indeed a challenge. How much of a challenge? Well, it took them five hours just to get that horse out of the muck. That's not only dedication, but it also shows a desire to do the right thing and to help a creature in need. So the next time that you see a creature stuck in the mud, you may want to remember this tale and do everything you can to give them aid. Number 17. The Bear is a Jar now make no mistake, while animals are able to survive all sorts of situations, one of the things that they cannot handle at times is being caught in human devices. That's why you're not supposed to pollute nature with things like old tires and soda can rings, plastic bottles and more, because animals may not recognize what they are and become curious, and when that happens, they often can swallow something or get caught in something they're not supposed to, or in the case of this bear, get its head stuck in a jar. Trisha Hurt, her husband, husband Brian and their son Brady were all out fishing on Marsh Miller Lake in 2020 when they came across a distressed black bear. That black bear had a large cheese ball container stuck on its head and was failing to cross the lake. Knowing that something had to be done, they carefully got behind the bear with their boat and Brian grabbed the jar. But he lost his grip and had to try again. Thankfully, though, he got it the second time around, and the bear was then free from its prison. Is that the end of the story, though? Well, not exactly. You see, the three were near a resort bar, and they returned to it after they had done their exploit. To their shock, they found out that the bear had been around that area with the jar on its head for almost four days. And to be fair, people that noticed the bear did call wildlife services, but every time they came to help the bear, they couldn't find it. More than likely, the bear had found the jar abandoned in the woods, probably smelled the remains of the cheese balls inside, and then decided to have a taste, only to be stuck in it soon afterwards. The bear was lucky that it didn't get a perfect seal on that jar, or otherwise it may have well suffocated. Number 16. The Horse on the Bridge Here's another thing that makes these animal rescues so spectacular at times. They happen in the most random of ways, with the most random animals and humans almost always seeming to be there right when the animals need them the most. The case in point, here's a man who was walking up to a bridge when he noticed a female horse standing on the bridge not doing anything. That would strike the man as being odd, but then when he looked closer, he noticed that there was another horse on the bridge, however this one had somehow fallen in between the boards and was stuck. The female next to it was its mother, and said mother could do nothing but watch as its child struggled to become free. Horses are good for a lot of things, but they can't naturally grab animals on their own thanks to their legs and hooves. Realizing the situation, the man put his camera down and then went to work. He made it clear that he was trying to help the young horse so the mother wouldn't do anything aggressive, and he carefully got the young horse out of its situation. To ensure that he didn't fall again, the man then carried the young horse to the end of the bridge, an act that would get the mother to follow him and then be reconnected with her child. So yes, it is a pretty wild event, granted that we don't know how long that young horse had been stuck there, but even a short time stuck in something like that can be a nightmare for an animal. What's more, had things become even more worse, the young horse could have fallen through the bridge and likely would have died. But thankfully though, that did not happen because the man was there to save them. Number 15. Muddy Eagle 
Have you ever wondered why it is that birds are so good at flying? It's easy to say that, it's because of their wings, but trust me, there's more to it than that. Birds have evolved in such a way that their wings are finely tuned entities that allow them to glide and fly without a whole lot of effort. The one catch to that is that they must constantly and consistently clean their wings because if they get too much gunk on them, they won't be able to fly at all. That can be proven with this animal rescue from Poland. A photographer was going through an area near a small town when he found a young eagle trapped in a large vat of mud. Mud is absolutely one of the things that birds want to keep off of their wings because it can hurt their flying ability. With its wings weighed down and no solid ground for it to move on, the eagle was truly stuck. That's why the photographer wrapped a rope around himself and then went in to get the eagle. It wasn't an easy feat, as the eagle repeatedly attacked him during the rescue attempt. That's easy to wave off, though, as the eagle likely was not familiar with humans and didn't know whether he'd be a friend or a foe. Despite all of the struggles, though, he was able to get the eagle back onto dry land. The bird was then cleaned and cared for by wildlife conservation workers, all before being transferred to a refuge in Poland. The eagle, nicknamed Icarus by its caretakers, was believed to have been six months old and may have gotten stuck in the mud during his very first flight. Talk about a bad place to crash land, but clearly it did work out thanks to a man who was not afraid to get dirty to save a life. Number 14. Hooked on a Shark now here's a different kind of rescue story, and it's one that you may not think about if you're not all that into fishing very often. When you do go fishing in waters that have sharks nearby or within, you always run the risk of the following scenario taking place. Let's say that you're going after a big tuna. That tuna will take your bait and get hooked on the line, but before you can pull it in, a shark then comes along and eats the tuna or takes a big chunk out of it. If you're really unlucky, the shark will skip the middleman and then go right for the bait and get stuck on your hook. The shark can stay on that line or even break it to become free, but what happens to the hook that is now in its mouth? Well, it stays there, and that's where people like Christina Zanato comes in. She's a diver with decades of experience, and she knows firsthand how many sharks get stuck with hooks in their mouths. So if she spots a shark with one in their mouth, she will then go to the shark and take it out. As you would expect, the sharks are not sure why she's helping them, but once she begins doing it, they then realize what is taking place and offer themselves to her so that they can be free of their metal menace. As of 2022, she's extracted over 300 hooks from sharks that she has helped, and sometimes there are people who are just better, and Christina Zanotto is clearly one of them. Number 13. Drowning Deer Deer are one of those creatures in the animal kingdom where you can see them getting into trouble without a whole lot of issue. After all, they're incredibly skittish creatures, and sometimes they act more upon instinct than they do on their logic. That's why they can very easily run across a highway and become hit by a car. In this case, I'm talking about one deer that tried to take on a river and almost died. The deer would be spotted by Fabrizio Capizzo and his friends as they were paddling on the river that was close to San Marino in Italy in 2021. They happened to capture the experience on video, and it is quite the harrowing tale. At first, the friends would see the deer and thought that they could rescue it by surrounding it with their kayaks and then lifting it up, but that didn't work as the deer panicked and slid between them, which would only make things worse because the deer became caught in the river's current even more and then was swept downstream. Thankfully, though, Fabrizio was able to catch a break and get a hold of the deer and get it onto his boat. He then paddled to the shore where his friends waited for him, and they were able to get the deer to the shore. The friends would then take care of the deer and help it to stand and become warm, and eventually it was able to go off and be in the woods alone. Hopefully next time, the deer will think twice before trying to tackle that river. Number 12. Elevator Going the Wrong Way this next one features a man who deserves a medal because this could have gone really badly had he not been there. 
Picture this, you're getting out of an elevator and you notice that there's a dog nearby. You don't remember it being there and so you approach it. It's then that you see the elevator has closed and the dog was on a leash. A leash that is still in the elevator. And can you guess what happens next? As you can see in this clip, despite the man trying to get the elevator to open, it then begins to rise and that leads the dog to being pulled off of the ground and up to the corner of the elevator door area. The man grabs onto the dog and then pulls hard enough to break the leash before the dog was harmed any further. And needless to say, this is something that could have gone very badly had a few things taken place differently. Like if the man was not there to hold the dog and help ensure that the leash broke. Or what would have happened if the elevator went down instead of up. The dog likely would have been choked to death before the man could even provide it any help. Thankfully, none of those things took place and the dog was returned to its family and then the man was properly and rightfully declared a hero. Number 11. Another Leap of Faith As I've hopefully proven to you by now, when a good-natured human being sees an animal in danger, they will try to save it no matter the circumstance, even if that means jumping into a frozen lake to get the dog to safety. The dog in question had somehow gotten away from its owner and then landed inside of a frozen lake. It was soon surrounded by ice, and that would lead to the canine being trapped. Enter the Runner Said runner was someone who barely understood the situation when he came upon it and yet did not hesitate to jump into the lake after the dog. He too was hindered by the ice but made sure to break it so that he could get to the dog, get a hold of it, and then drag it back to the shore. Onlookers would cheer for him as he did so, and as you'll notice, the runner was not wearing anything meaningful on his legs. So he was fully exposed to the weather and the cold and the risk of hypothermia, yet still went in after the dog. And when it was all said and done, he went right back to his jogging, because of course he did. And he said that he wasn't a hero, but nobody really believes that now, do they? Number 10. Operation Jumbo Rescue while many of the animals that I've shown you are ones that absolutely needed to be rescued, you could understand a random person coming to help them out because that's what's required. However, in this case, it was not so simple an operation to help this animal, mainly because said animal was an elephant. That's going to take a whole lot more than one person to get it out of its mess. And oh, what a mess it was. This is a fully grown elephant that was stuck inside of a pit that was so full of water that the elephant could have easily drowned. And you know the phrase, it takes a village? Well, as you're seeing, that's an accurate interpretation of the events. They had to use a ton of people in order to get that elephant into a position for escape. It would take two hours, but in the end, the job was completed and the elephant was free. Number 9. Tangled Seal do you know what one of the biggest dangers to animal life in the oceans are? Discarded nets and fishing lines. Animals oftentimes do not see them until they're caught within them, and once they become caught, it can be nearly impossible for them to escape depending on how tangled that they are. Such as with this Cape fur seal in Africa, such a young seal wouldn't know about the dangers of netting, so he got caught within it. Thankfully though, two members of the Ocean Conservation Namibia found the seal and were able to get it close enough to untangle. The irony is that, as you would expect, the seal resisted their help, likely because it thought that they were a major danger. But once the nets were cut off, it stopped cold, and it seemed to realize that they had been there to help it and likely didn't know why at first. It would eventually go back to living the life of a seal, free of any netting and worry. Number 8. K9 Unit the police of the world today do not have the best reputation to some people, but there are some who know what's up and when to do the right thing. This video goes a long way to prove that. A young couple would rush into a police station with an odd cry for help. Their young puppy was choking on food and they didn't know what to do. The police could have easily panicked or even tried to pass the buck, but instead multiple officers would come forward to help out the puppy. They used multiple methods to help dislodge the food and also to ensure that the dog could breathe again, and surely enough, their tactics would work, and the puppy was then happily returned to the owners, who took it to a vet for further examination. The video of the officer's rescue would then be released because they wanted them to be praised for their efforts, and in this case, it was very well deserved. 
Number seven, coffee cats. Now, if I were to tell you that a set of cats were rescued because of coffee, you might think that would be because they hadn't had anything to eat or even drink for hours, and that was the only thing the rescuer had on hand. But that is not at all what happened here. Kendall DeWish stumbled upon three kittens who had been frozen to the ground during his work shift, and I'm sure that you can guess why that situation was bad for the kittens. Not only were they frozen to the ground, it was their tails that were frozen, so how did he get them out without giving them harm? Well, he simply poured warm coffee onto their tails, and that would melt the snow. Well, kind of. It actually was not warm enough to do the job, however, it did do enough to allow him to tug on the tails and get them out. And if you're curious, yes, he did take them home to keep them safe, until he could get them to a veterinarian where they were eventually treated and adopted. Number 6. Firefighting Cat In 2018, firefighters would respond to a call about a blaze taking place in a home. When they put the fire out, they rescued a cat that was within the home. That cat had inhaled some of the smoke, so the firefighters instinctively put an oxygen mask on the cat so that it could clear its lungs. Now, you may not think that that would work, as those are meant for humans and not cats, but it did actually work just fine. The cat was safe, and the firefighters took pictures with it to showcase its health. Sometimes, it just goes to prove that you simply have to use what's on hand to make it work. Number 5. Go Goat This is a story that, honestly, nobody has any idea of how it happened in terms of the setup. And by that, I mean that in Greece, way back in 2016, a goat was in danger because it had become tangled within some power lines. And when you hear that, you may picture a fallen power line that the goat was curious about and then perhaps got wrapped around its horns. But that is not the case at all. This was a goat that had gotten tangled in lines that were 20 feet off of the ground. How did the goat get up there? Well, nobody really knows. And due to the place that the animal was in, they couldn't simply do something basic like put a ladder up there and climb up to it. Instead, they pushed the goat along the line where it then got close to a cliff face and some people were able to get it off. Number 4. Chicago PD Chicago cops know what's up most of the time, and when they see a dog in need, they know how to rescue it. The police were responding to a vehicular crash when they found a dog in one of the cars. Instinctively, it jumped out of the car and right into Lake Michigan. Thankfully, the police were able to quickly get to it and pull it to safety. The dog was not injured, but he likely was very rattled by the entire event. Number 3. The Mighty Ducks a mother duck would be guiding her ducklings when all of a sudden they fell into a sewer drain. The mother couldn't reach them, but thankfully, the nearby firefighters were able to rescue each duckling, all of whom turned out fine. Some would then go to point out that the mother duck, during the entire endeavor, would remain calm and seem genuinely grateful to the firefighters for what they had done for her children. Sometimes even animals understand that humans are just trying to help out, and once rescued and then reconnected, the duck family simply waddled away. Number 2. Pipe Dream Cat I feel really bad for this cat because the poor kitten had been stuck in a pipe that it barely fit in for four days. The pipe itself was 40 feet long, which made rescuing it an incredibly hard task. Eventually, a rescue team would be called in, and they had to try multiple attempts to get a snare around the kitten so that they could pull it out. You can hear the joy in their voices when they were able to get the kitty out because they knew that they were its only hope. Surely enough, as they looked on the cat, they could tell that it had been severely weakened by the whole experience, so if those people had not gotten it out, the kitten may have well died. Thankfully though, it would be rescued in the end, and as far as we know, it went on to live a happy life. Number 1. Feeling Sheepish 
I'll end this video with one last clip of people doing the right thing despite having no connection to the animal in question. In this case, it's a couple who were simply going home when they noticed a female sheep was caught in the banks of a river. And as you can see, when the husband tries to do a direct pull out of the sheep, it does not take place because the wool had gotten heavier through the water. Even when he got fully into the water himself and then lifted the sheep out, he knew that the sheep wasn't safe because the bank was so steep that it might roll back in if he had let it go. Eventually, he was able to get the sheep fully onto dry land and away from the bank, more than likely saving its life and then going on to provide t-shirts for many people. That's all from the realm of animals who needed rescuing and the incredible circumstances in which they had been rescued from. Were you amazed by these rescues that were pulled off to get the animals out alive? And were you horrified by some of the situations that the animals had to endure? Are there any other animal rescue stories that would fit very well on this list? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.